In a 100 meters race, A covers the distance in 36 seconds and B in 45 seconds. In this race, A beats B by how many meters? So this is a race course and here we are talking in 36 seconds. Right, in 36 seconds, A is somewhere here, right, at the end of the race course because he covers the distance in 36 seconds. And B is behind A because B is slower than A, right? So B is somewhere here. Okay? And what we want is this distance, let it be X, because we have been asked by how much meters does A beat B by, right? So this distance X. So this distance X will be covered in how many seconds? Well, B covers the whole distance in 45 seconds. Currently, B is running for 36 seconds. So, so this distance will be completed in 45 minus 36 seconds, right? So let us calculate X now. So B covers 100 meters in 45 seconds, right? This has been given to us. So how much distance will it cover in 45 minus 36? That's 9 seconds. So just cross multiply and equate. So x is equals to 9 times 100 divided by 45. And 9 times 5 is 45 and 5 times 20 is 100. So x is equals to 20 meters. So option A is the correct answer. In a 200 meters race, A beats B by 35 meters or 7 seconds. What is A's time over the course? A beats B by 35 meters. So when A is at the winning point, B is 35 meters behind him, right? So this is 35 meters, that length, or 7 seconds, which means that B covers this 35 meters in 7 seconds. Now to calculate A's time over the course, that means the time taken by A to complete this race, we will first calculate the time taken by B to complete the whole race. Well, B travels 35 meters in 7 seconds. So how much time will B take when he travels 200 meters, that is the complete length of the race course. Right? So X is equals to 7 times 200 divided by 35. Right? 7 5 are 35 and 5 4 are 20. So 5 times 40 is 200. So X is equals to 40 seconds. So B takes 40 seconds to complete the race. So how much will A take to complete the race? Well, A beats B by 7 seconds, which means that A will take 7 seconds less than what B takes. So A is equals to, I mean the time taken by A is equals to 40 minus 7, isn't it? So 40 minus 7 is 33 seconds. And that's our answer, option C. A can run 22.5 meters while B runs 25 meters. In a kilometers race, B beats A by how many meters? When B runs 25 meters, A runs 22.5 meters. This has been given to us. Now we have been asked by how much meters does B beat A in a kilometers race? Right. So B is winning, that means B is at the end of the race, right? B is at the winning point. This means that B has traveled 1 kilometer. So when B has traveled 1000 meters, that is 1 kilometer, how much has A traveled? Right? First we'll calculate this. So let this be X. So X is equals to 1000 times 22.5 divided by 25, right? 25 times 40 is 1000 and 40 times 22.5 will give you 900 meters. So A has traveled 900 meters if B has traveled 1000 meters. Well, by how much meters has B beaten A by? Well, this will be equals to 1000, that means the distance traveled by B, minus 900, that means the distance traveled by A, and that will be 100 meters. So this is B beats a by 100 meters and that's option A. 
In a 500 meters race, the ratio of the speeds of two contestants A and B is 3 to 4. If A has a start of 140 meters, then A wins by how many meters? This is the racetrack of 500 meters and we have been given that A has a start of 140 meters, right? So A starts from here, 140 meters. So how much distance will A have to cover? Well, this will be 500 minus 140, right? Because A has a start of 140. So this distance A will have to cover, right? And B will have to cover the whole distance, 500 meters. All right. so let us calculate the distance traveled by B when A traveled this much distance, 500 minus 140. Well, 500 minus 140 is 360 meters. So when A travels 360 meters, how much distance does B travel? Now we need a proportion here. Well, that is being given as the ratio of speeds. So the ratio of the speeds of contestants A and B is 3 is to 4. Right, so I can write it as S1 by S2 is equals to 3 by 4. Right, speed is distance upon time. Then we can say that the ratio of the distances is also 3 is to 4. Right, because distance is directly proportional to speed, isn't it? So when A travels, I can write this as when A travels 3 meters, then B travels 4 meters, isn't it? Because the ratio is 3 is to 4. Now we can calculate this so just cross multiply let it be x so x is equal to 360 times 4 divided by 3 and that will be equal to 480 meters okay so when a is at the winning point that means the end of the race b has traveled 480 meters right b is somewhere here at 480 meters so how much distance a is ahead of b well a has 1 by 500, the total distance, minus the distance traveled by B, that's 480. Right, so A wins by 20 meters. So option C is the correct answer.